Hello, welcome to Pursuit of Perfect System. My name is Terry Ellis. I'm an audio reviewer and a professional Dirac Live calibrator. And thank you very much for joining me. Behind me on the desk, you can see two different products from Audio Lab, the 6000A and the 6000N. But what are they? How are they different and what are their similarities? Well, one main similarity is their price points. Both of them cost less than 600 pounds. And both are a little bit like Doctor Who's TARDIS. Do not be fooled by their slimline and quite simplistic visual styling because underneath their hoods, there is actually quite a lot going on. Another similarity of note is their packaging. Both of them come in nice quality boxes, but I was particularly impressed with how Audio Lab have used paper tape instead of PVC tape to secure the boxes. I just think that's a very environmentally conscious thing to do, and I'm sure Greta Thunberg would give it a big thumbs up. Moving on to the differences, one of them is an integrated amplifier, and the other is a wireless network audio streaming player, or WASMP for short. So let's start by having a quick look at the 6000A because that is a 50 watt per channel class AB integrated amplifier that I'm sure we can all relate to. However, not obvious from the casework is that inside there is also an ESS Sabre DAC. There is also a moving magnet phono stage. There is also Bluetooth connectivity and oh, also a headphone amplifier. And let's not forget the included remote control, which is really high quality, surprisingly nice quality for a product at this price point. And the price point is £599. So you get a hell of a lot of technology included in this product for £599, a really great price point, but can it possibly sound any good with all that technology being packed into it? Well, I've already had quite a good listen to the 6000A and I think it's going to surprise quite a few of you. Moving on to the 6000N, the WASMP, priced at £449. It's a product designed to add wireless streaming from any source to pretty much any piece of Hi-Fi. So, music from your phone, your laptop, your iPad, your NAS, your friend's phone or iPad, or even your granny's favorite Metallica music can be streamed wirelessly to the Audio Lab 6000M, which means you create a wireless connection to pretty much any piece of Hi-Fi. And it goes way beyond that, offering access to pretty much all the major streaming services, Spotify, Tidal, Cobuzz, Deezer, Amazon Music, HD tracks, and also a host of internet radio stations. The 6000N is controlled by DTS Playfire, which is a free app that you can download. One of the main benefits of using the DTS Playfire app or system is that you can easily connect other DTS Playfire products together to allow an easy setup of a multi-room system. And another benefit is that there's a big company behind the app's development, DTS, the company that's responsible for 99% of your favorite Blu-rays and DVD soundtracks. So both of these Audio Lab products seem very interesting. And as I mentioned, I've already had a listen to the 6000A, but I still need to do some serious testing and I still really need to get to know these products in more detail before I can give you a full review for them. So my plan is to give you a song demonstration for the 6000A. In fact, that's almost fully recorded already. And then I'm going to create a video for the 6000N showing you the DTS Playfy app, how that works, how you can control it, and how you can use a lot of the features and functions of the 6000N. And then there'll be a review for the pair of them. So if this seems like something you're interested in, make sure you've subscribed to the channel. Also, go and visit our website. There's already articles for these products on there which I'll link up there for you and if you enjoyed this video make sure you hit that thumbs up button as always and yeah lots to come lots of interesting videos demonstrations and all sorts to come and I'll be seeing you soon thanks for watching take care